we're continuing on our journey at the research symposium and I'm here with my good friend Kyle and we're talking a little bit about your project. Can you just give us a brief overview of some of the research that you did? Yeah, so this is a project that's actually in graph neural network. Um, and what this project is trying to do is it's trying to predict um, which kind of uh, genes that we are, we are doing here are related to or aren't related to a very um, hard topic of autism to see uh, which ones are, are related and which ones aren't. Um, there's not a lot known about these genes. Um, a lot of them are just kind of assumed. And we're trying to kind of tackle that problem and see if we can maybe come up with something new. Yeah, it's really interesting. I feel like I said to you when I walked over, autism is a very highly researched and buzzy topic. I'm curious, what sparked your interest in this, this research? Well, recently I've been kind of going through PPI networks, which are protein to protein interaction networks. Uh, they work very similar to these. Um, and kind of from, from there, we kind of developed this project. We went through from protein networks and then we uh, kind of changed it up a little bit and kind of went with these interaction networks specifically in autism and um, kind of seeing that we can kind of draw some really nice stories from these from these things and kind of you know really kind of help people you know moving forward with uh, trying to figure out you know why why these certain diseases and why these certain things are a problem and why, how we can actually solve them really interesting so have did you have any faculty mentors along the way through this project I did uh, dr. Bender has been a huge help throughout this whole thing he's been he's been there uh, with me throughout the whole thing so yeah what is that relationship like working with the faculty to dive into research a little bit more it's very different I would say at least from you know taking classes and doing that kind of thing uh, it's more of a one-on-one -on -one. it's more of a, a personal relationship a little bit more of a you know you're kind of you're kind of their mentor now. You're not their student. You're not you know you're not taking classes anymore. It's almost like you're 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 actually uh, you're actually with them doing their research. So sure. Really yeah. I feel like that's a really special bond that you can form with faculty through this process. And how has the symposium been so far for you today? Chatting with peers. Tell us a little bit about it. So far, it's been good. Um, I've been catching up with a couple of people that I, I haven't seen in a while, and um, kind of just checking out and seeing how everyone's been. So. Awesome. So tell us what's next. What's the dream to bring this research to the next step? Um, well, we're looking to get it published. I think that's I think that's step number one. Um, and then from there, uh, I think we might even expand this further. We might, you know, um, we have a kind of an overview, kind of a general topic, but uh, we kind of talked about how there's other there's other actual diseases in, a, in in autism. So like we can talk about Asperger's or Rett syndrome or uh, schizophrenia, and you know, those all kind of have a different meaning. They have different, um, kind of have different uh, graph structures to them. And I think we can learn a lot if we kind of at least take at least something from there too. I think that'd be interesting. So interesting and so impressive. Thank you so much for sharing your hard work and congratulations. Thank you.